This is a, a product from a National Science Foundation grant we're currently working on. Uh, the idea of the grant is to use 3D technologies uh, to teach audiences about watersheds, about protecting lakes. So this is a combination that uses 3D technologies to project topographic information, but at the same time you have kids doing exactly what they've always done, which is play in sand. So they're playing in sand, they're making mountains and rivers and lakes, but they're seeing how the shape of the watershed is forming in front of them. And then the really cool part is they can hold their hand over it and it acts like a cloud and simulated water deposits on their landscape and it flows downhill. They are learning about topography and how to use a topographic map, looking at contour intervals and contour lines on a map. Um, so they can see that when they make a steeper slope, those contour intervals are closer together and a less steep slope, the, the lines will be farther apart. It's a computer model that is actually calculating the water flow um, as true water would flow and slosh and move to the low points. The, the 3D images um, are produced with a, a connect box. So this is the same sort of technology you'd have in uh, that gamers would use. It measures the distance to the, to the surface of the sand. So once you have that, then you have the 3D shape and then that's fed into a regular uh, projector. So the higher you make it, you go through this gradation up through red and then to white, say for a very high mountain covered in snow. And if you dig a deep enough hole, you get to a, a blue lake at the bottom. This is one of three in the world. We have the one here at Lake Tahoe, there's also one in Burlington, Vermont, and then another one at UC Berkeley at the Lawrence Hall of Science. We're basically formative testing these, trying to figure out what works best. So we've been testing this white sand, um, and then we also have another sand, which is kinetic sand. Ashley has made us a model of Lake Tahoe, and so that particular sand you can build up a little bit. And we'll rain on the mountains here, and if we fill it up enough, will it come flowing out the Truckee River? Oh, there we go. <laughs> We're going to be testing both types of sand and seeing which one works best for the kids, which one's the most fun to play with. This combines two things. It combines hands-on activity with, with sand, which, which everybody likes doing, but it also quantifies it. It can, it can show people what contours really are and how they spread apart when you have flat land and how they get closer together as it gets steeper. And, and the colors reinforce that uh, and the fact that you start seeing the simulated water flowing through it, it shows them how a watershed works.